Hey everyone! So, let me tell you how I turned a little suggestion from my amazing black wife into a full-blown business. She told me I needed a hobby. I was like, a hobby? What kind of hobby? And she said, make stuff. You'll like it. At first I had no idea what I could make. I mean, there are so many options, right? But then it hit me. Resin art. I'd seen some cool resin pieces online and thought I can do that. Heck, I can do it better. So I ordered some supplies, liquid resin, hardener, moulds and colours. The first time I mixed the resin and hardener, I was a little nervous. It's like a science experiment, you know? But once I added the colours and poured it into the moulds, I was hooked. My first project, a chessboard. I mixed some vibrant blues and whites, poured them into a mould and voila! It turned out way better than I expected. That was my eureka moment. I could totally sell this stuff. From chessboards, I moved on to ashtrays, skulls, and even a skull ashtray with bones surrounding it. Imagine a skull in the middle of an ashtray with little bones circling it. Sounds cool, right? And guess what? People loved it. I started an online store, liquidmelanin.com. I posted my creations on Instagram and social media, and the orders started rolling in. The best part? I was having so much fun. I mean, who knew mixing colours and pouring liquid could be so satisfying? But let me tell you, it's not just about the art. It's also about the hustle. I spent hours researching marketing strategies, taking good photos, and engaging with my audience. You have to put yourself out there, be consistent, and always strive to improve. One thing I learned is that people love unique, handmade items. There's something special about owning a piece of art that someone put their heart and soul into. And that's what I aim to do with every piece I create. So if you're thinking about starting a resin art business, my advice is simple. Just start. Don't overthink it. Get your supplies, experiment and find your style. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Each one is a learning opportunity. And hey, if I can turn a hobby into a thriving business, so can you. Thanks for watching and happy creating. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tips and inspiration. Catch you in the next video.